Hey guys, Adrian here for DigitalDojos.com, and I know it's been a while since I've been creating content. However, I am getting back to the swing of things and some major changes are upcoming, but that's for another video. This video, I want to overview a publishing app that I've been using recently. Uh, I recently discovered, and I just want to talk about the story behind this. And um, this is the desk application. It's a publishing app, so a blogging utility for you to publish on OS X. And they are also the sponsor for this month for Digital Dojos. So I want to give a huge shout out to the site desk.pm and the developer behind this, John Saddington. So I want to give a little bit of context. I always look for sponsors and, and, and products that I use and believe in to share with my community. And I'm super proud to have the desk application as the sponsor for this month because I was originally looking for a publishing tool um, before I even was able to get in contact with the developer. And it's... You know, I was looking for something that was simple, but at the same time had uh, really great features and function behind it. And that's really what Desk believes in. And that's what the client itself does. It has, you know, a super minimal interface, but really powerful features behind it. And I was uh, able to find this via some other tech bloggers in the community that were uh, promoting it. And I'm really, really proud that I did purchase it. It's a $30 application in the Mac App Store. After using it, I was able to get in touch with the indie developer. So it's, it's an independent developer behind this whole project, John Saddington, who after just you know getting in touch with him, reading his blog and seeing the content he throws up as a developer, he has these, these vlogs where he talks about his development process, how it's been going from you know developing the app to getting it live in the app store, talking about sales and advertising, you know, a real just down to earth uh, person and, and really sharing his experience as he builds this application. And you can see the, you know, dedication and passion for the product that he's created. So that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the desk application. So you can head over to the site, of course, I want to get, you know, desk.pm. Uh, you can see all the information there. You can find them in the Mac app store. Here it is. Super simple, super clean. This is the uh, actual post I'm working on right now for this video that I'm doing. You can see here's the content I have written up right here. And as soon as I get started writing, so this is me typing in caps for some reason. But as soon as I do that, you can see everything fades away. It focuses just on the text. And this is my favorite feature of this. Super minimal. It allows you to focus on what matters when you're writing and that's writing, very simply put. Now, at the same time here, when I go out of this uh, that mode here, I have all the uh, editor available to me in the sense that at the very bottom here, I have the auto save. You can see, I can see when it was last saved. I can see when uh, what the character count is for the post. I can see, of course, the word count, so important things you may need to know. And of course, what's really cool is reading time. You can see the average reading time it takes for somebody to read through this, and this is about 55 seconds, it says. So it's a really great way to kind of gauge how long your post may be. On the right here, you have the ability for all your publishing tools. In the top, you can add your blog. So you can see here I have my uh, digital dojos, of course, added. I have my own personal Tumblr blog, but you can also save local drafts. So if you just love writing in general, um, you can just save local drafts, or if, if you want to save it offline, you know, just for your own sake, if you want to keep a, a copy offline and not in the cloud, you can save it here locally, and you can search through that, filter through that, and create new posts here, of course. So speaking of platforms, they have a great support of platforms right now for the mainstream publishing platforms. They have WordPress, Blogger, Tumblr, Facebook, TypePad, Movable Type, and Squarespace. So a lot of the great ones are supported out there. However, if you, uh, you know, and down the future, they are going to be supporting more. So that's definitely something to look forward to if your platform isn't currently on there. Um, but for the most part, I'm sure if you are using a blog, you're probably using one of these services. So that's really great to see a lot of those added in. And he's added this really cool quick publish feature. So for example, you can go into the settings for one of your blogs and go ahead and set up a quick publishing. This allows you to just to hit this button right here and quickly publish out without having to add those things like tags and categories and things of that nature which of course you can still do within um, within this post. So for example, if I want to publish to Digital Dojos here, you can see I, I can still, I still have the ability, if I go into my blog here, you can see I have, whoops, let me go back here, go back to my publishing. And if I wanted to publish said content here, going back to my local drafts, like this post right here, uh, I have the ability to click into this blog here and then set it to publish and then have more options and then have categories tags, custom URL, all that stuff. So when I'm publishing to a specific blog, you still get all those features 
and uh, kind of like you know whether you're whether it's for SEO or whatever it may be, you still have all of that within the desk application. At the very bottom here, you can hit the preview button and get a uh, live preview of what the post will look like. And what's so great about this is the editor in itself is a WYSIWYG editor, one of my favorites. That means what you see is what you get. So you're gonna get exactly what you're formatting here. It also supports things like markdown, so you can write and well, kind of like ornate the content the way that you want it to be, and that's the way you're gonna get it, really. Um, so there's just so much into this. I mean, it has media integration, of course, so if I start a new post here, you can see I'm gonna open up a Finder window. I can take photos and screenshots and even video through native Oembed and just drag it over, let go, and there it is. There's the, po you know, the picture's just that simple. This is a list of songs purchased, for example, and I can write around that. So that's what's so great about this. That's why I really enjoy this because it gives me a desktop. I've always liked kind of just writing on my own desktop environment outside of the browser because it's free of distractions and everything else that's out there on the internet. So this is why Desk is really, really amazing in, in that right. So again, you can save it uh, as a local draft. You can publish it to your blogs, of course. Uh, and there's just so much more. I mean, going into the menus in the top here, the file menus, you have file, edit, format. But one of my favorites, if you go into view here, you have the ability to, go, of course, enter full screen. Um, transparency, so you can enable that transparency. Um, you have day and night mode. I love this mode. I, <laughs> I just I just love this user interface right here. So depending on how, if you want to write it, it's a little bit easier on the eyes. Um, but yeah, this is the desk app. It, it, it's, it's simple but effective, and that's what really is the most important thing about it. You can check out their website at desk.pm. You can, of course, find their application in the Mac App Store. Hands down, one of the best publishing tools for OS X. If you were looking for a distraction-free writing environment with the powerful utilities and tools behind it, Desk is just that. That's what exactly what it does, and it allows you to do what's most important as a content creator, and that is create. So my thanks to Desk for sponsoring Digital Dojos for this month, as well as John Saddington, the developer behind this project. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy this application, and definitely check it out in the Mac App Store if you are using OS X and looking for a publishing tool. This is the one for you. Thanks a lot for watching.